guys, welcome to a different video on the channel today. This is going to be a tutorial for how to make your own custom dragon textures and add them into the mod. So let, let, let's just get into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is open a texture into a photo editing software. This is for, for the tutorial, I'm going to use Photoshop, but some good ones are Paint.net, GIMP, or Fire Alpaca. I'll leave the links to all of those in the description below. But anyways, let, let's just start with like showing you the texturing map. So this, this is the legs, the cutouts on its claws. The, the bottom side of its wings, top side, this is the body, the outside of the mouth, this is the inside, tongue, and then these, I believe, are also tongue parts. These are the claws, eyes, the tail, this part is the horn, and these are the spikes on his body. And over here, this is the underbelly for it. So yeah, let, let, let's just start now. So I, I'm going to do like a simple little texture. So here, I'll just do around like this. And then I'll just make it more brighter by adding more saturation. So yeah, um, this looks kind of interesting, but let's go with that. And then you can edit it way more than just what I've done. But to make it simple, we're, we're going to keep it like this. So let's just click export, quick, e quick export as PNG, and let's just name it Natter underscore I don't know a uh, red blue no bright um blue red I don't know um actually I know I know hot blue and then we save it it should be ready to move into the dragon folder. Three, two, one, recording. Okay, now that you have your texture and the folder you want to put it in, my, um, the, the default Minecraft folder will be on screen now. After you, you know, went to wherever you have your Dragon Texture folder saved, you're going to want to go to Config, Dragons, Textures, and you're going to see this. This we have to copy. So copy, paste, and then name it to Natter. Now you're going to want to create a folder, Natter however you want it. I prefer to do it um, like this. So you're going to want to put the texture here. So once you have it dropped in, go here. And actually, you're going to want to click edit with notepad, notepad plus plus. I'll just get rid of all of this. But yeah, um, now, this is the dragon's code, like the texture code. It's whatever the mod looks at whenever it loads up Minecraft. So, this is whatever dragon you want to name it. Like for, like whatever dragon you want the texture for. And this is a texture name. So, hot blue 
we're going to name it that. And then this is a path to the adult texture. And this is for the baby texture. So we're just going to do the same one for both. I'm just going to need to copy this. I'm pretty sure it's just textures and adder. But you can, you know. Here, natter. And then you're going to want to copy. And then if I can get this to work, there. Now the path to the sprite, oh, um, okay, the path to the sprite, I, I just realized I don't have it. So I personally make a folder for sprites themselves. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back when I have a sprite. Okay guys, so I just grabbed the the default natter sprite, so you know sprite sprites natter. And then we just copy that along there. Now this is a rarity. Common, rare, epic, or legendary. For this we're gonna make it epic. And then this natural, true, is going to make it whether or not it spawns. So personally, I want this to spawn. So we're going to leave it at that. Click save and X out of that. Now let's load up Minecraft. So now that Minecraft is loaded up, let's just create a new world. And this can be whatever you want. So let's just go into creative and let's just turn that off. Um, then we get the spawner and then we find the natter. So here it is. Um, next, we just find the texture. It should be at the bottom. And if it's not, you know, so we're just going to make it like this. I prefer the dragon not to run away. I prefer it to be on persisting and, you know, just whatever gender. Um, so here's the texture. It looks really good. Especially since we didn't do much work on it. Or I didn't. You guys could have probably done hours of hard work. But yeah. I'm very happy with how the texture looks. Um, anyways, guys, the, the reason I did this video is to help you guys learn how to do your own dragon textures. Also, if you guys want to enter a competition for my, for our channels, go to the discord, which I'll show you now. Three, two, one, recording. So yeah, here's the Discord. So if you guys want to join it, you know, join it, do whatever. Um, but here's where you can post your own dragon textures into the mod. Uh, not the mod, sorry. Um, you know, basically here you can post your dragon textures and enter the competition. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. So if you have enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.